Well, the Vikings' Justin Jefferson is quickly becoming one of the most feared receivers in just a couple of seasons in the National Football League. This week, Justin is holding a special camp just for kids to share his secrets of the game. Earlier this week, Justin was kind enough to spend some time with me to give us a sample of what makes him one of the greatest receivers in Vikings franchise history. Cousins wants to go deep in the corner. Touchdown! Woo! Justin Jefferson! I mean, I just love what I do. Uh, I just love just making people happy, uh, just being on this football field, doing what I love to do every single day. How many footballs a week do you catch? Whew. That's too many to count. Uh, I mean, too many to say, uh, but at least, at least 500 a really? week. Yeah, at least. I mean, you 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 have to do uh, you have to do that in order to to become a, a great catcher. Uh, just catching cons consistent balls, uh, just getting that hand-eye coordination right, um, and it helps, uh, especially on the field when you going out there running routes and catching with your quarterback. All right. So the biggest thing, what's number one? Uh, one, the first thing is to put your hands like this when the ball is coming. So you want to make a diamond. Uh, a lot of people call it the diamond. So you're making a diamond with your hands. Okay. And then you got to have them spread out. You don't want them close together. So spread out so you can catch with your fingertips. And then you look the ball in with your eyes. So every time you catch the ball, catch it with your eyes. So you can look it in. Then you tuck it. Really? So you're looking every time, even in a game? Just like at, at the, yeah. You look exactly right here. With your eyes, you catch it. And that's how you catch every single ball. You make sure you're catching it. Because every every time you see the ball, that's how you catch it. But once once it passes your eyes, that's when it go blank. That's when you can't see it anymore. You you catch what you see. That makes sense. Yeah, it makes sense. So what happens if it's a low thrower to the outside? You catch it with your eyes. As long as you catch it, with, <laughs> as long as you, as long as you follow it with your eyes, your hands is gonna go exactly where the, where your eyes going. So if you see a ball coming, as long as I'm following the ball all the way. I can track it with my hands because I'm seeing the ball. But once it go out my vision, there's no way I can catch it. Really? Yeah. So even when you're making a one-handed grab, as it's... long as I see it and I grab it, yeah. All right, throw my. As long as I see it and grab it, <laughs> I can catch it. That was, it's all about, it's that all was about even grip. hard for you. That ah, was even hard. It's all, it's all about the grip of the ball. <laughs> It's grip and then uh, just seeing it. You know, you got you to gotta see the ball, and then you got to get your hand strong so you can grip it. So hand strength is obviously huge, yeah. right? Yes. Do you do exercises then to uh, yeah, build you up your hand muscles? Yeah, you can do uh, hand the muscles? hand, the hand <laughs> it crunches. It sounds goofy, but. Yeah, you can. I think they have them at Walmart. I think they have them at <laughs> a Dollar General. You have not been at Walmart. Yeah. Dollar General? Come on. I mean, you just have these hand crunches things. You just squeeze them. And whenever you're just sitting around at your house, you just squeeze them. As long as you can, just squeeze them. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And then that will build up your forearms, build up your fingers, and that will allow you to have better grip. All right. Another thing we see receivers do is you say you look for the ball, right? Yeah. But a lot of times you don't look till the last second. Correct. How do you do that? How is that handled in a situation where you're running down the sideline, they throw it up there, you don't let that defensive back know anything's up yeah. until the last minute. Yeah, uh, we call it late hands. Uh, so, um, I mean, especially being in the NFL, they have so many great cornerbacks in this league. Uh, so many cornerbacks that have great technique uh, and is good with ball skills. So, uh, if you beat a defender on a goal ball and he's trailing you right on your back, uh, it's, it's late hands because he can't see it. You can. Right. So his back is turned. So all he's looking at is your eyes uh, looking up. So as, as you're looking up, you just wait until it drops at the last second. Then you put your hands on it. And that will allow him to throw his hand up late. And you will already have the ball in your hand. Wow. That's, 
Yeah. That's genius. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you call it that. <laughs> well, yeah, but seriously, though, you're going down there. Obviously, you're trucking. You're not uh, yeah. digging your time. Yeah. It's definitely right? difficult to, to do, but is it that, comes is with that a lot the of hardest? Practice. Is that the hardest? Yeah. I mean, it, it's hard to, to late hand a ball uh, just because you just want to secure it so much. And, but you don't want to give any tips away to the DB. So as long as you're running, it's, it's very it's difficult to do. Uh, I, I'm not going to say it's easy to do. It's difficult to do, but uh, you just work on different drills uh, to, to do that. You can stand still, have somebody on the back of you, and just put, work on this, just lay hand. Really? Lay hand. So if he throws you a ball. Yeah, I'm going to run, 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 lay hand. Cousins play action towards the end zone. It's Jefferson. You just told us that you watch the football right into your hands. Correct. Well, you also have to watch the sideline. Correct. Right? So how in the world do you do both where we see you somehow just get your toe in for the touch for the catch? Well, you always got to be aware of where you're at on the field at all times, no matter where you're at. If it's a deep ball, if it's a coming out on the sideline, you always got to know where you're at. So it's really all about uh, peripheral. So as you're looking at the ball and see if you're running the out route, you're looking at the ball, but you're also using your peripheral to look at where the sideline is. So as you're seeing the ball coming to, okay. you're going to catch, and then you're going to tap and have your back foot drag. And now that will at least give you you know, a, a, a chance to really catch it and have two feet in. But if I, I like, I don't really like to do the drag. If you don't want to do the drag, you can catch, do the tap, you know, whatever you want. But it's really all about just knowing where you at on the field and then having that peripheral to see the sideline as the ball coming, catch the ball, and then as you catch it, drag, tap, right. drag. So you're not looking. You're not looking at the <laughs> side at all. Are, are you no. counting steps? Like baseball players have told me, you know, they hit the warning track. They know how many steps there are to the fence, right? They mm -hmm. pace it off in pregame. Nah, because you never. Nothing like that, right? Nah, because you never really know what type of route you're running, you know, how you get to the sideline. It, it, you know, you can run a comeback, you can run out route, you can run so many different things to catch it on the sideline. But it's just all about using that perif peripherals to see where the sideline is. And as the ball get close, you're going to step, catch, drag. It's step. It's like a long step. Like So if I'm right here, it's going to be a step, and then drag. Okay. So it, it's, di it's, definitely, yeah. it's difficult to do, but you got to practice it like more, more, more. Just work on just running an out route, have somebody throw it to you, catch it on the sideline, working on dragging. Pressure coming. Cousins decked. Throws it up for Jefferson. He You're holding a kids' camp. Yes. Um, this is pretty cool. Yeah. Why do a kids' camp? Uh, well, I'm putting on a kids' camp here in Minnesota uh, with Hard Count Athletics uh, at the De La Salle High School, and I just wanted to put on for the kids. Uh, I just know how many kids just you know love me and to to be around me, especially here in Minnesota. So I uh, wanted to interact with them personally. You know, get my hands on them. You know, just throw the ball with them and, you know, dance with them. So laugh with them. So I uh, definitely wanted to do this and excited to do this. What are the kind of things that you want the kids to walk away with? What do you want them to say, all right, I'm remembering this? Well, once, uh, uh, always just to remember uh, the type of person that I am, uh, just my, the type of character uh, that I have, you know, just being laughing, joyful. Uh, I'm not that type of a player to be, you know, stuck up, mean, uh, you know, just I want to be relaxed with the kids. You know, I, I want them to leave and be like, oh, I, I learned a little bit more about football. I learned a little bit more about Justin, too. When you have this camp, you're going to be involved, right? Yes. Some guys yes. put their name on a camp, right? And yes. they show up and they wave to right. the kids, hey, <laughs> you know, like the Pope, you yeah. know, waving yeah. in the car right. and just driving through. Right. That's nah. not going to happen to yours, nah. right? No, nah. I, inter I interact. I actually do the drills with the kids throw with the kids, dance with them, 
I do a whole bunch of stuff. I like to interact with them as much as possible. And that's why Hard Count Athletics was so good at, you know, putting on these camps. Uh, I mean, every single camp that we did together, it was amazing. So I'm pretty sure this one is gonna be even better. So uh, whenever you get that, that time to spend with them and, and to really interact with them, it goes a long way, especially to a kid that, that looks up to you and wants to be in the same place as you. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So there is still room for your son or daughter to join Justin on the field for this camp this Saturday, May 28th at De La Salle High School. For more information, go to hardcountathletics.com. That's where you can read all about it and sign up. But you have to register by May 24th, 1st through 10th grade. So it's going to be a lot of fun for the kids. All right, straight ahead.